It's shoe review day, and today we're looking at the Mirol MTL Long Sky. Hi everyone, I'm Rob from Rods and Running. Hope you're doing well out there, staying safe and training hard. Spring and summer is upon us and lots of races coming up. I know I'm training hard for mine. I'm on going on to my third ultra of the year. Uh, looking forward to that at the beginning of July. Um, but more about that later. So today we're looking at the Merrill MTL Long Sky. This is a race day shoe for rugged mountain trail, combining premium comfort, support and traction. The Long Sky boasts a lightweight design, tear resistant fabric and a breathable mesh. An internal booty and rear sling offer a lock-in secure fit, while the EVA midsole uh, with a medial post lends to cushioning control uh, as you take on the most challenging trails. Vibram Mega Grip Outsole provides expert grip traction on all surfaces. So just uh, so a few standout features about the shoe um, and then we'll go into uh, my experiences of running this shoe uh, and I've done about 60 miles in it now but let's just go through the standout features first so breathable mesh and TPU upper ref reflective detailing internal booty fit for a lock uh, internal booty for a locked in fit uh, external rear sling for a locked in heel removable EVA insole and the Vibram Mega, Vibram Mega Grip outsole. So just a few facts and figures about this shoe. It weighs in 280 grams of the UK 9. Um, it has 20, um, the stack height has got 27.5 mil on the heel, 19.5 on the toe, that's an eight mil drop, and the lug depth is five mil. We'll go through the colors in a moment and the cost a bit later on as well. But if we just start at the the top uh, and work our way down through the shoe and I'll tell you some of the things that I uh, liked and maybe a few of the things that I disliked as well about this shoe. Um, I've had it for a while, quite a while now, been working uh, on getting some mileage into the shoe um, which has been difficult with niggle, niggles and things and like that um, but I must say it's been a, uh, an enjoyable experience um, pretty much. So we'll start at the top and work our way down. So first of all, breathable mesh. Um, this mesh here is very breathable, it's very flexible, it's tear resistant as well. So I've seen nowhere really across the top here in the 60 miles I've done, you wouldn't expect any either. Even at the flex point, and I don't know if you can see, kind of um, gathers the fabric a little bit at the, text, at the flex point there, uh, but it's been it's been absolutely fine, very, very comfortable. You've got the reflective detailing as it described here, the mirror all lights up in the dark, which is great. And the, uh, you've also got plenty of overlays around the eyelets for the laces. And you've got this rubberized bumper that goes right the way around the front of the shoe, offering plenty of protection on the trails. If you work our way to the back, heel kind counters nice and firm. You've got some movement there, so it's not gonna dig into your Achilles, um, but it's a very uh, very well constructed. Here's the rear sling pull, so it enable you to get in and out of the, the shoe very easily. The, um, the laces are the traditional laces, um, and I'll come back to them in a moment because they're, they're kind of what I think is a, a, a weak point of the shoe, but, um, We'll come back to that in a minute. The booty fit is probably one of my, my favorite parts of the shoe. And I'll tell you why, because even though these laces are not the greatest laces, um, as soon as you step into that shoe, you feel completely locked in. Now, even with these laces coming, um, even with these laces as they are, I was still able to get a really good lockdown. So I think that was really important. 
the tongue itself is quite, it's not substantially padded, but actually you feel really, really secure in there. You feel comfortable, no problems with laces pulling through that at all. The, the heel itself and around the sides of the heel, the, um, the heel counter there, nice and padded, very nice and comfy, just about the right amount of cushioning. And the insole, which does come out, see so if we can get that out. It's not the most padded of insoles, but it is very comfortable. So you can see there, there's not a lot of padding. It's not like the nice boomerang soles that you get in an in Innovate or something like that. But there's enough padding to keep the shoe comfortable for you. So that's really, really good. Stick that back in there. Let's work our way down to the midsole, the EVA midsole here. It's squishy, but it's firm squishy. So if you can see there, like push that in. There's a bit of there's a bit of give there, but it's not too it's not too squishy. I noticed on concrete it's felt quite bouncy. Not so much on the trails though. You know, you do feel very connected to the trails when you're running on them. Uh, but there is some comfort there. I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable shoe for doing super long mileage. If you're racing, fine, because you're going to be up on your toes, running on your forefoot, and it's all about uh, getting that traction and enough comfort in order to, to complete your race. But if you're going to do some plodding along in your training runs, doing 20, 20 maybe 30 miles, then you might want something um, a little bit softer under the foot, especially during, during your training. Um, but otherwise, that compound is pretty good, um, very robust. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to break down anytime soon. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased with that. And then onto the Viagra Mega Grip. Well, there's not much you need to say about Viagra Mega Grip. It does what exactly what it says on the tin. Um, really sticky, works on any surface. I've not found a surface yet where this doesn't work. Um, and the five le mil leg, uh, the five mil lugs um, just grip anything. I've run this in, in mud, um, wet rock, tree roots, you name it, I've, I've run in it. Um, in this shoe in those 60 odd miles that I've done um, it's performed really really well so on to my uh, likes and dislikes I suppose really there's a couple of things which I think could be better in this um, this shoe mainly um, the lacing system bringing my predominant dislike really um, these laces, you can tighten them up and you feel secure, but after doing plenty of mileage in them, you do realize that they've worked slightly loose and you have to retighten them again. Now, it does take a while to realize that because you're so well locked in with that booty fit, you don't realize that they've come loose. Um, they're not loose, loose, but they've given, they've, they've stretched slightly, so you have to undo them and retighten them up. That's a bit annoying, and I think just replacing those laces with a better pair of laces, something like the ones you get with the little notches on them, would help that, um, so that's good. Also, this shoe I found that, and that might just be this might be because of my foot shape. I've got wide feet, so this shoe isn't really made for wide feet. It's I would say it's average width in the toe box, um, so not not too narrow, not like a Salomon narrow, um, but also not too roomy either. So yeah, I found that I could probably run this for. Um, maybe 15 miles and it started to get to the point where um, I could feel that it wasn't wide enough for my foot um, but like I say if you've got a narrower foot then that might not be a problem to you so and then the last thing I think for me in terms of, it's not really dislike but it's a uh, just something that I'm I'm not used to is that this shop ha uh, this shoe has an 8 mil drop for me that's absolutely fine on road, on road shoes, but when it comes to trial shoes, I normally use a four or five mil drop shoe, um, and I have noticed that um, it makes a difference, um, and not obviously not a good difference for me. Um, so that's something that I would, um, yeah, I would consider if I was buying for my next pair of shoes. But overall, I mean, this is my first pair of Merrill shoes that I've ever run in, so um, yeah, I'd, I'd say the experience was really positive. Um, just going through some of the, the things that I do like about this shoe though, the booty fit for me is a number one, it's great. I feel really secure with that. 
uh, so that's a really good thing. Well done, Meryl. Uh, the Viva Mega Grip, again, brilliant. Um, you know, sticks to everything. Really, really good. And then, actually, uh, the last thing I would say is this mesh upper. It feels incredibly durable. It doesn't feel like it's going to tear like uh, some, of, some of the shoes where they tear down the side of the flex point there. Just doesn't feel like it's going to do that at all. There's plenty of gives, plenty, very breathable. Um, so overall, really, really happy with that. So this shoe uh, comes in three colours. This one is called Exuberance. Um, it comes with a high-vis black option as well, and then a black uh, option, which is for entirely black. So I'll pop those on the screen. Um, and this shoe now has been out for over a year. So it was 125 um, when it came out which is reasonable, I think, for a shoe of this quality. Um, but now you can pick it up for 88, and I actually picked this up for 56 because I had a voucher as well. So uh, that's a bargain, really. So this is a shoe that's gone into my uh, rotation. Um, so I'm going to get plenty of miles out of it. Okay, short miles, because I'm not going to run really any more than a, maybe a half marathon in it. But still, that's good mileage um, that I can be putting into these and saving my my um, Exodus shoes, for instance, for the long stuff. So that's really, that's really good. So I guess that's all I've got to say on this shoe. Um, but I'd like to know if any of you guys have uh, run in this shoe. Um, it's uh, certainly one that that's, looks like it's been popular. We're looking at the other reviews um, that I've seen on the internet. So uh, be interested to, say, uh, to, to hear from anybody who's running this shoe and, and what your thoughts are. So leave a, a, a comment below, um, that'd be great. Um, I've left links in the description to this shoe as well, even in case you wanna go on and uh, have a look or maybe purchase a pair for yourselves. Um, so please see that below as well. Um, and then I guess moving on to what's coming up on the channel. Um, so as I mentioned at the start, we have uh, a race coming up on 2nd of July. That's a Salomon Serpent Trail race. Um, that's another RBR charity race uh, for 2022. Uh, so if you would like to uh, sponsor me for that race, then the link's in the description below as well. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to that race. Um, it's 100K um, and it starts off um, in Peaksville Rugby Club near um, Portsmouth um, and then works its way across um, across down down further to the coastline um so yeah really looking forward to that race that's that race has been put on by freedom racing the guys from cornwall um so yeah really stoked up for that it's also part of the um salomon um golden trial series so there'll be uh plenty of elite runners there as well uh doing the 50k uh, version of that race so i'd be excited to go and see those guys and see how they get on as well um, so really looking forward to that um, and also we've still got a couple of kit reviews to come up um, as well we have some uh, the odd low lightweight um, summer shirt uh, to review um, and the shorts as well so uh, I'll be looking to get that on the channel soon um, happy to hear from you um, please leave some in a message in the comments below or check out robsonrun.com but otherwise, that's another wrap on a shoe review at Rossby Running. So I look forward to seeing you all again soon. And until then, stay safe, train hard, race hard, have fun. Cheers, bye.